and I'm Anne, and today we're going to investigate the question, how is climate change changing the ocean's chemistry? So in order to do that, we're going to use something called bromothymol blue, and it's a pH indicator. So pH is what measures how acidic or basic something is, uh, and it's measured on a scale from 0 to 14. So normally pure water would be right in the middle of that scale at a pH of 7, so that's a neutral pH. More acidic things like vinegar, lemon juice would be a lower pH, so more acidic, and uh, more basic things would have a higher pH, so things like soap, ammonia, bleach, things like that. So for example, I have two different solutions in front of me here. This one is just tap water that I poured out of my kitchen sink at home, and this one is lemon juice. I went ahead and squeezed the other half of the lemon into this glass along with some water. And you can see that I've put the same amount of bromothymol blue into both of these. Um, this water, I mentioned that pure tap water normally has a pH of 7. Um, it turns out my tap water is a little bit more basic. This has a pH of 8.1. And my lemonade over here has a pH of 2.5. So you can see the bromothymol blue changed color. Um, it's this really deep blue for more alkaline or more basic solutions and it turns this very pale yellow for more acidic solutions. And I should mention too that pH is measured as a logarithmic scale. So to use our example of pure water with a pH of seven, something that has a pH of six would be 10 times more acidic. Something with a pH of five would be 100 times more acidic. So my lemonade over here is actually more than 100,000 times more acidic than this tap water. Now the ocean has a pH pretty close to my tap water here. The average ocean pH is 8.1, and a lot of marine organisms really rely on the ocean's pH to remain stable and consistent. They have this range of tolerance of a pH that level that they can survive, and if the ocean becomes too acidic or too basic outside that range of tolerance, it can be really hard for marine organisms to survive. So what's happening to the ocean as a result of climate change? Well, we know the climate is changing because there are increasing levels of carbon dioxide and other greenhouse gases in the atmosphere. Now, carbon dioxide is a natural part of the atmosphere. It's something that we and other animals breathe out when we inhale and exhale, when we respirate. So take a breath in, breath out. Congratulations, you just converted some oxygen into carbon dioxide. So it's very natural. The problem is that we're releasing excessive amounts of it into the atmosphere through human-driven processes, and that's happening very quickly through things like burning fossil fuels. And it turns out that the ocean absorbs roughly a third of that carbon dioxide from the atmosphere into the ocean, kind of like a giant sponge. You can picture all those waves out in the ocean kind of churning around, mixing up that water into the ocean. So remember when I said before that we exhale carbon dioxide. So let's use our breath to figure out what happens to the ocean when that carbon dioxide mixes in with the seawater. So I'm gonna go ahead and take my straw here in a minute and blow bubbles into my tap water to see what will happen. I'm gonna blow bubbles and do it for 30 seconds. And before I do that, I wanna pause and have you make a prediction. What do you think is going to happen to this water? What do you think is going to happen to the bromothymol blue that indicates the pH? Do you think it's going to get more acidic, turn more yellow? Do you think it'll become a deeper blue, turn more alkaline? Okay, let's find out. What did you think, River? So, can you all see what happened to the water? You can see that it turned a lighter yellow, right? Maybe quite, not quite as yellow as our lemonade over here, but still much lighter. And I'll go ahead and measure the pH with my pH meter just to see what it is now. So while I'm doing that, let's think about this on a global scale. 
Yeah, so I'm getting a pH of around 7.1, it looks like. It's even dropping a little further than that, which if we remember that pH is a logarithmic scale, that's about 10 times more acidic than it was before I blew bubbles into it. So let's think about this on a global scale. If carbon dioxide levels in the atmosphere are increasing, how do you think that'll change the ocean's chemistry?